will sit and we'll sing in the bath, we'll count toys, just little things, count steps when we're going upstairs. Even down to today, getting the bus, we'll sit on the bus and we'll see how many cars are going past. Obviously, Kai's not speaking at the moment, but he does point to b and says bird. So my dad, his granddad, will obviously point to different birds or if there's a squirrel in the garden or if there's a cat in the garden and he'll say cat or he'll say squirrel. So Kai will try and pick up the language himself. I've noticed the biggest impact is his confidence level. He's speaking, he's coming on so, so well, just doing simple things like preparing a snack and talking while we do it. We have a book every month from the SSBC. Those are the things we normally use to teach him colors and he always like reading as well. Yeah, when I see Kai developing and learning new things, and it does make me feel warm and fluffy because I feel that he's, he is learning and he's understanding what I'm saying. I like to think he's going to grow up to be a really confident and outgoing adult, to be able to handle anything that life kind of throws at him because of the, the memories and the moments we've had when he was younger. I know his, 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 his future is very bright. He, he, that's what I have seen because I know he's learning a lot now. You've just got to kind of persist with it and think, past, oh, I look silly, or people are going to make a comment, and just kind of know that if your little one's giving you something back, anything back, they must be either enjoying it or they must be taking it in on some level. You've just kind of got to get past it, push past it, and you'll be fine. You can do it. <laughs>